things so many thought would never happen. That's so nice. Uh. Extended and emotional embraces, decades in the making. <laughs> As people meet the family members they've longed to love. Oh my gosh, you do look like me. These first meetings, all made possible by the power of social media and the Search Squad Facebook group, a page run by so-called search angels, volunteers who for nearly 10 years have helped find and unite family members separated by adoption or other circumstances. I had no idea when we made the group that it was going to be such a need out there. Bonnie Holly is the group's founder. She says their snooping leads to about 100 solved cases each month thanks to the help of her hundreds of search angels like Kathy Williams. We do what we do because it's a passion and because we love people, but we also have that side of us that we just love a good puzzle. You know, we don't go to the store and buy crossword puzzles. We're doing people puzzles. Whenever <laughs> you solve one of these people puzzles, how do you feel? It is the most rewarding experience for me. We talk about the happy dance, but I have literally jumped out of my chair. I mean, it's exciting. It's that same feeling fellow search angel Deb Partridge was after when she came across this post on the search squad's page. My husband asked me what I wanted for Mother's Day, and I said, I just want to know who my dad is. Nadine Cardinelli was raised by her mother, but never knew her birth father. While she says she'd thought about looking for him for much of her life, it wasn't until she suffered a heart attack in her early 40s that she decided to turn to the search squad. In a matter of days, Deb's online digging linked Nadine to Walt Pontius. As soon as he said he wanted to meet, I think I flew down my basement stairs and told my husband, like, oh my God, he wants to meet. Like, <laughs> I was super excited. What did you feel in that moment, Walt? It feels like when you go home from the hospital with the, uh, with the little kid in your arms and your life has changed. Their connection, humor, and resemblance were instantly undeniable. But Nadine wanted to be certain, so she asked Walt to take a DNA test of his own. It's pretty close. <laughs> Their genetic match was pretty much perfect. It's 99.999. <laughs> finally found you after all this time. My necklace that he actually had made for me is engraved in the back, and it has the 99.99% dad-daughter perfect match. When you look in the mirror every day and see that necklace? I smile a little bit, all because of Deb. Every time I see a picture of her and Walt, my heart just like smiles. It's just so rewarding. And every day, father and daughter are growing closer, doing their best to make up for lost time. We talk since day one, or text, every single day. You went looking for health information. How much more did you get out of this process? Here he is. Lifetime of love from my dad. And guys, the volunteers behind the search squad are truly remarkable. They say even though not all cases have a happy ending, the ones that do are extremely rewarding and put a little positivity back into the world. Guys. Absolutely. Oh, and using you. social media Thank for, you well, know, for, for all good. the crummy things about social media, there are the moments like that yeah, that make you realize there's still some good out there yeah. that has to be amplified. Sounds good. Kelly, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.